All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the page. We appreciate everybody who's been doing that. Uh, it's been great to see the growth and the outreach from everybody. Uh, what we have for you guys today, a 2010 C6 ZR1. Right now, I would say these are the hottest cars on the market. Uh, for a while there, it seemed to be the 350Rs, the C7 ZR1s. Right now, I think the C6 ZR1 market is on fire there were a couple on bring a trailer that just sold uh, centennial with 1900 miles for 142 uh, you had two jet stream blue cars one lower miles one a little bit higher miles both did really strong money i think uh, 140s and the other one might have been 130 and then marshall goldman just had a 32 mile jet stream blue listed for 165 and now that is gone so this right here is a 3zr 295 miles we know the owner history on the car the uh, owner was one of our previous clients and the car literally is perfect i mean it's black black sometimes shows everything we looked all around not a single mark on the car everything that you would expect from a 295 mile uh, car inside interior everything literally perfect and the car is stunning always loved the c6 zr1 wheels carbon fiber on your rockers the front splitter most notably on the c6 zr1s is that see-through hood to see that ls9 supercharged motor and it's just such a classic looking corvette and we say classic now it's only 12 years old uh, but definitely different than the c7 zr1s a little bit more of a driving experience a little bit more raw driving than the c7s are and i just love the c6s and it's really no surprise. I think it's been a long time coming for these cars to really start taking off now and uh, getting the recognition and appreciation and the values that they really well deserve. Brutal is a word that aptly characterizes the 2010 Corvette ZR1. And there is no doubt whatsoever that it does justice to the line of high performance ZR1 Corvettes. The C6 Corvette ZR1 was first introduced for the 2009 model year and represented a new high water mark in the history of the America's sports car. The heart of the new ZR1 revolved around the supercharged LS9 power plant, a special hand-assembled 6.2 liter, forged pistons with oil spray cooling, forged titanium connecting rods, and a special forged steel crankshaft make up the rotating assembly. Providing the needed forced induction is a twin rotor 2300cc Eaton supercharger with an integral dual brick air to liquid intercooler. The LS9 develops 638 horsepower at 6500 RPMs and 604 pounds foot of torque at 3800 RPMs. This allows the C6 ZR1 to travel from 0 to 60 in just under 3.3 seconds with a quarter mile of 11.4 seconds at 130 miles per hour. Top speed comes in at 205 miles per hour. This particular black 2010 ZR1 with ebony and leather interior has covered just 295 miles from new. It also features the optional 3ZR trim package and the aforementioned 6.2 liter, 638 horsepower supercharged V8 engine and six speed manual transmission. Beneath the carbon fiber target top, the interior features an AM FM CD stereo with both speakers, dual zone climate control, heated seats, a tachometer, and power windows, locks, and mirrors. The 2010 ZR1 Corvette also features quad exhaust tips, blue Brembo brake calipers, and chrome alloy wheels mounting from Michelin Pilot Sport tires and the blue calipers to go with the chrome wheels and the black paint on this car to match the logo of the ZR1 with that blue uh, number one. Everything on this car really just looks so clean. It goes so well. Uh, the black to, to go with the chrome really is eye candy. This ZR1 comes with two keys, window sticker and manuals. Corvette ZR1 has always been a performance benchmark and this 2010 C6 version is a car that commands instant respect and admiration. 
signifying the ultimate in Corvette performance, the ZR1 designation returned to Chevrolet showrooms with a vengeance in 2009 as part of the sixth generation Corvette lineup. Powered by a 6.2 liter hand-built supercharged GM LS9 V8 engine, the ZR1 delivers 638 horsepower and stood at launch as the most powerful automobile ever offered at the time by General Motors. Capable of exceeding the magical 200 mile per hour barrier, the 2009 Corvette ZR1 was the fastest car ever built by GM and served as the distillation of the victorious Corvette racing program for the road. Ensuring buyers could handle its massive performance envelope, the ZR1 purchase price even included a training session at the GM Performance Driving School. Technical wizardry applied to the ZR1 is virtually endless. While the LS9 carries the same 6.2 liter displacement as a contemporary LS3 V8, the LS9 was an all new design. A twin disc clutch delivers power via a strengthened six speed manual transmission with no automatic option. Unfortunately, with the C7s, they did allow the manual trans or the automatic transmission, I'm sorry. And as we know, the C8s now are all automatic transmissions, doing away with what we love in the manual driving experience. Sharing its aluminum chassis frame with the Z06, the ZR1 features specifically tuned magnetic ride control, massive drilled carbon ceramic Brembo disc brakes with six pistons in the front and four pistons in the rear, which deliver stopping power. A raised carbon fiber hood featuring a clear polycarbonate window that reveals the intercooler, which is such a cool aspect on these C6 ZR1s. Carbon fiber front fenders with unique side ports and numerous other carbon fiber body parts visually differentiates the ZR1. Offered with exceptionally low miles, this 2010 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 is a tour de force on every level. So that is our 2010 ZR1. Like we said, brand new, paint is like glass, perfect condition, collector grade, definitely deserves to go in and be with its Corvette counterparts that are also low miles. Uh, somebody wants to drive it, you could still put a little bit of miles on it and protect your investment. Such a great car, love the C6 ZR1s. Uh, like I said, I think there's still a lot more room for growth as the C7s continue to go. These are gonna continue to go as well. Uh, we did a, a video on our Z06. I don't think those are gonna be too far behind as well. Those are still under sticker. Expect them low mile cars to be doing above sticker just like these and the C7 ZR1s. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and be on the lookout for what we have coming your way.